Jonathan Williams recorded in his book, Legions of Satan, written in 1781, that General Cornwallis reveals to General Washington that a holy war will now begin on America. And when it is ended, America will supposedly be the citadel of freedom, but her billions will unknowingly be the loyal subjects of the crown. Cornwallis went on to explain what would seem to be a self-contradiction. And he said this, quote, Your churches will be used to teach the Jews' religion, and in less than 200 years, the whole nation will be working for divine world government. That government that they believe to be divine will be the British Empire. All religions will be permeated with Judaism without even being noticed by the masses, and they will all be under the invisible, all-seeing eye of the Grand Architect of Freemasonry. And indeed, George Washington himself, ladies and gentlemen, was a Freemason, and he gave back from false religion what he had won with his army. This divine world government that Cornwallis spoke of was the religion of the New World Order. Now, the Jewish religion that Cornwallis was talking about is not the religion that most Jews in this world practice, but a new secular humanistic view that came out of the lodge of the mysteries promoted under international Zionism and the concept of British Israelism. It is the tenet that the Anglo-Aryan race are the true Israelites and because of that, their royal family, being descended from the house of David, in a direct line, in a relationship to Jesus Christ himself, have the divine right to rule. One of the myths that are propounded, and you will see more and more of it, is that Jesus did not die on the cross, but entered into a sexual relationship which may have included marriage with Mary of Magdalene, and founded the Merovingian bloodline of kings which began the European dynasties. And this is passed on in secret from father to son and mother to daughter even unto this day.